and welcome to Selfmade. Today we make a, let's call it alternative jewelry, <coughs> a holographic necklace uh, with an Assassin's Creed symbol. And what we need is one of those laser engraver. I really wasn't a fan of those, of these machines, but now I am. And the good guys from Gearbest really recommended one. They liked my other, uh, yeah, they don't even call it reviews. Um, I used them actually, not just unboxed them and uh, show you guys what they were wrapped in. So, uh, yeah, in this video, just like all the others, um, I will show you how to actually make one of those. And all we need is this small little machine, uh, an old CD, a file, a saw, Dremel tool for the tiny hole, uh, and some string, plus some scrap wood, and we are ready to go, and yeah, here we go. So here we go, um, Assassin's Creed necklace project, we need a CD label pressing spoon at work, so uh, for base material use one of those um, CDs, you'll back up your music, nobody's copying any music, it's illegal. And yeah, so grab one and here we go. Actually, just drag and drop. So we just try that. That looks pretty good. And here we go. Now it's measuring and protective eyewear on. Now he's showing you the, the area he will uh, engrave. Looks just right. And beep beep. Go for the guy. You can already see it. it looks pretty good. Holographic. The last few. Lines. Come on, little guy. Do it. Yeah, that looks, looks fantastic. I'm actually pretty surprised how well this looks. And the screen shows the progress. Actually, you can see how the uh, red line is progressing on the screen. Can we get a little bing? No. No micro FB. Too bad. There it is. So there we go. In the sunlight, or at least at the window. Uh, you can see it's really holographic and looks awesome. Can't even believe how awesome. So, uh, yeah, the edges look a bit weird. It's a tiny shine. they like waves, and it's, uh, that's, since I cut it, so I guess you have to be careful when you cut it. So I will try to um, mask the logo with uh, just a bit of uh, clear tape. And then cut out a shape. Not sure what shape yet, but uh, just yeah, cut it out and smooth the edges and then uh, peel off the tape and hope that the little logo survived and the edges are clear. And yeah, let's see. This is the template we go for, a little droplet, a sharpie. Now we just try to, uh, before we center it, um, determine the point where we uh, want it to, to end. And I will just center it this way and move it all the way up, tip on tip, until we see our line, and then and there we go yeah almost a bit more to the left and we're good to go and now we can just cut it out and see where that gets us so another sew really have to stop doing that <coughs> Now we have a little droplet, holographic droplet, and it was 
this size and for the frame we use uh, a bit of a bigger droplet to create a frame like effect and I use this um, rosewood scrap piece I had left you can use just aluminum or um, regular wood and just paint it uh, brown or something will just look as cool and uh, yeah I'm going to uh, use this sand it down you can see from the from the sawing down uh, uh, from the cutting uh, the cutting lines running this way so when you when you saw it it will just leave a mark so yeah sand it down then uh, cut it out I will just recommend uh, first sanding it's it's uh, easier the bigger the piece is if you have a belt sander uh, even better just uh, put it on it uh, for a second and you're done and after that I glue it on and drill a hole let's go last step uh, this is just a, you can use um, a tiny uh, leather strip or leather, leather band or just uh, whatever you have string doesn't even matter silver would look uh, just great with the wood and the crest and for gluing I'm about to use um, yeah, no commercial here um, super glue but I don't think um, it's a good idea uh, the fumes might um, yeah make it look uh, crappy because the fumes are actually uh, gonna get to our plastic so I'm gonna use a uh, two component uh, epoxy just a tiny drop from both chambers and close and gone It's not rocket science, just uh, all we need is a tiny drop. But the more uh, glue you use, uh, the better is the mix. When you use tiny amounts, you might have uh, not enough on there from uh, of component number one. So just take a good drop and try to uh, even out the amount. And that should do it. You can even through it, see it through the back side. That's kind of funny. And I'll just, uh, it's not really a stressed part. It doesn't have to uh, withstand a lot of force. So just make sure you brush it on every spot. And then you scrub off the most of it. And now the first try has to to do it, otherwise it will smear and hands off. And now we play the waiting game. Anyway, it's five minute epoxy, so I give it three. And uh, yeah, tick tock. And done. Here we got it. A little beauty really amazing didn't expect it to be that cool just wow and yeah now we could just uh, clear coat it I'll just leave it as it is um, looks great not too scratched so uh, yeah that's it for the day guys and I uh, hope you liked it, share it, like it, make it go around the world and I'll see you guys next time.